Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. In the last video we discovered why Steve was acting the way he was acting. You know it's pretty sad. You know his whole family was killed by Umbrella. We also were able to obtain the golden Lugers that Steve had by giving him a pair of machine guns. He seemed pretty happy to have them. But uh, now we're going to move forward. And we're going to use those golden lugers in the door behind the save room. Resident Evil. Let's continue. Alrighty, so let's check the inventory. Okay, so we have to reload this. And we want to put the ink ribbon back in the box. And we'll put that there. Uh, we don't need this right now either because that's for the other part of the place. And I think we're good to go. Okay. Let's just take a look at the, whoop. Oh, apparently you can use them. Can you load uh, ammo into them? Hold on, let's see this. No, you can't, okay. Huh, that's strange. Usually you can't use items. Let's check them out. Not bad, wow, that just says Luger on it. <laughs> that's pretty funny. But we got some nice gold design, nice hand grips. Pretty nice looking. G on the uh Yeah. Okay. There's no need to use it now. Well, I'm pretty sure I do need to use it right now. There's no need to use why? Oh I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Lock has been released. All right. All right. Oh, so we're gonna pick up the handgun ammo. If we can get around the chair. So we're doing pretty good for handgun ammo, I'd say. We're gonna go all the way around here. Click on this. Oh, that just tells you how to do it. We don't need to do it. I'll just show you guys how to do it. Okay. So that thing over there is going to light up. And it says enter the password. I already know the password, so we're going to get out of this. What you would usually have to do is to click on this note, and it would tell you which way, like left, right, left, right, stuff like that. <coughs> and then you click on this and set through the button, and what you do is it uh, tells you which, uh, and this is how you figure it out, just left, right, stuff like that. Then you just do the code what it says on the paper. But if you, we're just going to do it quickly, it's 1971, which is when the, uh, facility was opened, back in 1971.
And then there's a monster bandersnatch that jumps out through the window, so we gotta be real quick at this. And with my luck, usually I get- oh, we didn't get hit, look at that. That's a first. Okay, so we just have to walk down this uh, tunnel here. And go up these stairs. Now the only problem with this this section here is there's two bandersnatches snatches that you gotta watch out for. And with my luck I'm gonna get hit probably. But we're gonna do it real quick. Oh wow, I dodged him. Okay, so if you like do it yep, I thought so. Yep, okay, I gotta be fast. Because we're already in caution, which isn't good. We just gotta keep going, keep going. Oh and we made it, look at that. Now there is a door in here, but we're not going to go in there yet. The only thing that's in there are uh, the the bolts for the bow gun and some handgun ammo. So we're going to skip that area for now. And we're going to take these to the fr uh, green green herb in the next hallway. So we're going to use this, and we're not going to use the uh, green herb because we got to start building up our uh, health up in the, the box. Because this is nothing right now. Later on, we're going to have other you monsters and stuff. Oh. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? So what is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Alright, so like I said, there's the green herb right here. We're gonna pick this up. And we're gonna go in this room here. Okay, so now we have to go back uh, to the palace. Uh, there's a silver door uh, in there. 
So before that, we're gonna go into that room uh, downstairs. Now we there is another door down the hallway still, but we're not gonna go down there because there's nothing in there. this because they can do you know pretty good amount of damage okay and he's down so we got the handgun bullets right here and that gets us back up to 25 and then we come down here and we grab this. And if I believe down here it is, yeah, ink ribbon. All right. I think that's everything in here. What a mess. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's everything that's in here. So now we got to go back to the palace. And look at that. Then we gotta be quick. Yep. Ooh. Hurry, 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 hurry. Alright, we made it down here pretty good. Awesome. Okay, question is, can we dodge this guy? Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And we dodged him. Nice. I think our luck, luck is going up a little bit. Now, remember before when I said about the, uh, those double handgun things? How I said you wanted to use them just for other situations, not just for random? So we're going to use these now, because the room we're going to go into... Uh, requires, or sorry, it has two of uh, those uh, snatch guys, and we don't want to just use one hang on to take them out. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, okay, all right. And we're, oh yeah, we got those other zombies to take care of too. I forgot. Um, we can just run past them. Or you know what, we can just knife them because we're going to be coming back here, you know, a couple of times, so we might as well just take them out now. Because uh, the zombies here, they don't respawn, so... Okay, so we're going to go over here a little bit. And hey buddy, come over here. And that's... Oh, wow, he's already dead. Okay, cool. We want to get him to come over here so we have more room. Crap. Really? And we're already on caution already. Really? I forgot how hard this game was. Stay down. There you go. Go to sleep. But this is what I mean by like the knife is like super powerful in this game. Uh, another game the knife is pretty strong in as well is um, uh, Resident Evil 4. I think the knife is pretty strong in. <laughs> Um, I think six the knife is strong, I can't remember. I just remember that in this one, 
it's pretty powerful. I did a knife run on Resident Evil 4. It's not uh, on YouTube recorded or anything. I did on my personal time. Um, crap. This is why I said that you wanted to pull these out because there's two of them. And you just want to stay away from them. Because they can do lots of damage as you can see. Finally. Okay, so we still got more than half, that's good. So we're gonna take this. We got uh do do So there's a note down there. Is there anything hidden? No, so we're gonna go do the new uh, note right now. And there's nothing hidden. Okay. Hunk's report. Attention, Mr. Alfred Ashford, of the head of the facility. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during the transport and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There is one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could have been put at risk during this transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the training military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces Unit, Hunk. Okay, so now we're gonna do that. We take the eagle plate. Eagle plate, yep. And I'm basically almost dead again. Oh boy. But we're not gonna use that green herb because we really gotta start building up. I know I'll keep repeating myself, but we really gotta build up that, uh, uh, our health reserves in the box. So we're gonna have to find uh, an herb or something. Um, So we're gonna go back, try to go back, go back, and we're gonna drop off the guns, and um, all right, so we're gonna drop off these, those can go back. Um, we're gonna take this. Uh, what don't we? Ne I don't know if we if we need the silver key right now. Mm, I'm gonna keep it with me though, cause I'm not sure. I can't remember. Okay, so we're going to go back to the facility and unlock that drawer uh, that you need the lockpick for. I think that also has explosive uh, powder. And then when we're done there, we have to go back to the prison uh, area with the eagle plate that we have and put that in to the door where the guillotine is. And I forgot about the bandra snatches down here. Eh. Yeah, as long as we're quick. Oh god. Oh, we made it. Nice, nice. Okay. At least those guys can't run. That's a good thing. Oh, 
Okay, so let's check what we have. Okay, so the mic moved. <laughs> Alright, so let's try, let's, let's look at what we have here. Sorry about that. Okay. So, like I said, we want to go into this door here. Do you want to use logic? Yes. And we want to open it up. Oh, and it's handgun ammo. Oh well, whatever. That's alright. So now, like I said, we have to go all the way back to the prison. So we gotta go back this way. Like I said, we have to go and get the door with the uh, gelatin. But I didn't get the. Uh well, I have room now, so we I can do it now. Go all the way around. Here's the key you can get that unlocks the gate. That allows you, like for this door here, that allows you to. Uh, Unlock that door just so you don't have to go all the way around the building. And there's more zombonies. Great. aiming at that. And this key here is the one I was talking about. on the other side? Ah, whatever, I'm not going back. We don't need to come back here after we're doing what we're doing anyway. So I guess it was kind of a waste to pick it up. Oh well. So we're gonna want to switch the handgun.
Okay. You want to back up in the corner, you want to shoot that barrel there? If I can, but now I'm gonna... Shit. Oh, come on. And this door here is from uh, when we made the uh, 3D copy of the emblem. Okay, so we can literally just throw this anywhere. We'll just randomly put it right here just so it's not in the way. Because we don't need that anymore, ever. And now we have to go pick up the uh, gas rounds and the first aid spray. Oh no, I think we used the first aid spray. So I think it's just the gas rounds. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yeah, just this and this. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna drop that, and this can go in there as well. Spray. We're gonna use that right now, though. So that we're fine. Everything's good now. And there's another note here. Okay. <clears throat> there is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that drive the demon sometimes. Wait, I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me, and has given me this facility, the chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is, especially, it is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about, I swear. The basement of this medical building will be kept secret. Of course, I'll keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. 
Even if an outsider does see it, they will never be able to tell that it is the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. Okay, so the guy's a little bit messed up. helpful and there's more hang on them over there uh, I thought there was a green herb in here as well no just the red is the handgun parts. Now I like to have it on manual because it goes up to 20 uh, shots. It also fires a lot faster as well. Strangely, okay. Okay, yeah, there's no green herb in here. Unfortunately, I thought there was. Because this part's actually pain, I'm just gonna put it on auto just for now. And that's the guy, yeah, and the note, and that's the guy who apparently has the demons in him and stuff like that. And oh god, he runs fast. He's pretty much like a kind of like a little boss. Okay, now we can switch back to regular. Now we can switch to knife as well. Yeah, okay. And the secret that he's talking about, you put it right here. And this is also the starting area for uh, the battle mode uh, game. Oh, and there's an herb here. I'm not going to mix it. <coughs> I'll use the uh, green right now. But I'm not going to use that uh, red though. Really? Just use that. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you just walk, they won't attack you, but because I'm dumb, and I run, you know, shit happen. Oh god. 
Oh, come on. Oh, nice. this set of uh, bow gun ammo here. I never noticed that before. Of all the time I've been playing this game. Huh. And more handgun ammo. Cool. And we gotta go down here. Yeah. Take the sword. Yep. You gotta put the sword here. Oh, we already got the knife on. Okay. Okay, and now we gotta go all the way back. All the way back to the palace. Now see what I mean if you just walk? They don't, uh, they don't come after you. It's kind of like the birds in, uh, or the crows in Resident Evil 1. Uh, there's a spot there, if you've watched my other videos, uh, that one spot where you have to do the paintings. Uh, in the original one, it's clicking a button on the paintings. Uh, in the remake, it's a stone, or stained glass window where you gotta, uh, turn a light on to change the colors. But uh, either way, there's uh, birds above the top, and uh, if you run, they'll come after you. If you walk, they won't touch you, and the zombies came back. Crap. That's what I mean about the knife turning. Oh, it just drives me crazy when it does that. I never, never had any issue with any other Resident Evil games with it doing that. But for some reason, I don't know what it is, it's uh, Veronica that uh, the knife always, or the character always, you know, turns either left and right whenever you're uh, attacking an enemy. And I don't know why it does it. It drives me crazy. Even if you just push down straight on the button, and you don't actually turn left or right with the stick or D-pad, whatever you're playing with, uh, I find the character still character still turns and it's uh, really frustrating to the bandra snatch we get depending on the health. Um might be okay. There might be a health in the uh in the bar. 
Okay, that's where we have to go next. Greetings. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost, coming back to haunt your dear brother. Oscar? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? You may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Go to the bar. And I got the silver key with me, good to chill. Yep. Another package of gunpowder. Oh, perfect. Look at that. So we can do that, and then we can mix the red one in with the green one that's in the box. I 
now we have to go back to Alfred's private house. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna save that for the next video. We're almost, you know, hitting an hour. So we're gonna mix this. And we're gonna put them back, put that back in the box. We got 30 of that now. 300 of the gun, uh, what do you call it, bow gun arrows. We're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. Alright. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. Alrighty, well I think I'm going to leave this video here. You know, we got a lot of progress done on this one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, like and uh, subscribe. And I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Because I can't wait to upload and play another round of Resident Evil. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.